beautiful people so i'm trying to make this video while there's like light still but um i've done about three or four amazon fresh deliveries um the groceries and two times i haven't got packages and they make me wait basically the whole shift i decided to leave with 30 minutes left in the shift because I'm wasting time sitting here. I'm not getting tips. So I'm just getting that, basically the base pay. And I, I need the extra money. Like I'm trying, I'm trying to get a lot of stuff right now. I'm trying to get my life in order. So yeah, I, I'm doing a new one today. It's not the whole food store. It's another food store and they have packages in there, but they, they're not for me, I guess. I, I don't know. Um, I always try to get to the store an hour early just to kind of scope it out this is the first time i went to whole foods and the first time i went here just to see okay what's the process where is it okay bath bathrooms are here because i used a bathroom before and then you know okay this is the process and um i did have two deliveries for whole foods that went through the first one i finished within the time and i didn't have to go back and then the second one, I finished an hour early. They had me go back to deliver one more thing. And then I was still 30 minutes early. But after 30 minutes, they don't have you come back. So I just went to do DoorDash. And yeah, I've been having a lot of late nights. I signed up for evenings. And I think I want to change that just because I don't like doing Amazon Flex until like 8, 9 p.m. Or even 9.30 and then having to door dash till like two, three in the morning. It's just too much. I'm going to sleep at like four or five in the morning and trying to wake up and do it all again. Like I've started to drink coffee every single day and it makes me sick, like physically sick. I don't drink coffee, I don't drink soda, I don't drink energy drinks and I don't eat junk food usually. Like I, I went months and months without eating junk food and the only time I would eat like fast food, and by junk food I mean fast food, and the only time I would eat that is if somebody brought it home. But just in my daily life, I ate home-cooked meals all the time. I worked out, you know, stretched and stuff every day. And now I don't have time for that. And I'm eating crap every single day. And I just feel horrible <laughs> in every way possible. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna, I guess, sit here until my shift was from 6 to 7.30. It's like 6.15 right now. I got here, like I said, an hour early scoped it out went to get something to eat went inside like 20 minutes early because i went to the bathroom and then i sat in the area for the amazon fresh flex and checked in 15 minutes early sat there for another 15 minutes and went back to my car because it's obvious i'm not getting any packages um i just don't know if i should leave and do doordash because what if I have to come back and then they ban me or deactivate me? I don't know. I might risk it because I, I would rather start DoorDash now than start it at 7. I mean, I could wait 30 minutes, but yeah, I just, I got to travel to a whole different city. Because unfortunately, where I live, there's no Amazon warehouses. There's no um, hot spots for DoorDash or Uber Eats. So I have to go like... 40 plus miles away to even get this work so that's why it's kind of hard you know and i always have to get here early because traffic can and your car can have any type of problem and right now <laughs> my back tire i have to reinflate it every single day because it needs a patch something happened and it's leaking like 10 psi a day i didn't even fill it up today i need to go do that real quick uh, because it's supposed to be at 39 i think it's at like 20 right now and i just happened to look one day and it was at eight and i was like eight psi it goes up to 50 like that is a completely flat tire and if it stays um deflated and i drive on that it's gonna um it's gonna end up dry rotting and stuff and i just want to prevent any breaking down because that happened on another car of mine the tire was dry rotted and exploded and I had to sit on the side of the road for three hours to wait for AAA. And that happened at 4 a.m. I had to wait three hours and then I had to fix both of my cars and I didn't go to sleep till noon. And 
the uh before the tire exploded i was doing doordash from like 11 to 11 p.m to 4 a.m but before that i had went to a concert that was like two hours away and then i decided okay i'm gonna go to doordash and then the day before that i doordash until 4 a.m or uber eats or whatever so it was just a series of late nights lots of driving i was so tired and yeah I'm just rambling. I don't think I'm actually gonna post this just because it turned into like a lot of complaining and I'm, I'm really frustrated right now because this lady hit my car with her cart, knocked my side mirror backwards and I opened the door, I'm like, uh, ma'am. And she randomly just started talking about nothing but so it can distract me from the fact that she hit my car. Like she was trying to deflect and I was like, wow. And that's happened multiple times. At least two other times people have hit my car whether with a cart with their door and just with me in the car and like not apologizing nothing i also had this guy he, i don't know if he was angry about something but he slammed his door into my car right and i'm like what the hell and he's oh my god you can be mad at me i'm so stupid i'm like did you scratch it oh no it's fine i get out look it has the biggest scratches on it right and i'm like wow he lied and i was uber eating that day saw him again and when he saw me he sped off because he knows he lied <sighs> sorry this became like a vent session it really wasn't supposed to be that but anyway i'm gonna go doordash forget this block yeah bye <music>